world order is born today, the 14th August 2054. Racial conflicts, ideological conflicts, religious conflicts, territorial conflicts belong to the past. Every man is a world citizen subject to the same law. The internet has driven the change, spreading communication, knowledge and the organization at the planetary level. The pyramids of Egypt, the Colosseum of Rome, the Church of the Holy Wisdom are demonstrations of power. The Roman Empire lasts for centuries because of its road network, the Cursus Publicus. Genghis Khan creates a network of horsemen to have real-time information from everywhere in his empire, the greatest of all times, and to be able to concentrate in a few days all its military force on a single point. Savonarola, a monk from Ferrara that anticipated Martin Luther and John Calvin, invents the open letters, printed in thousands of copies and distributed to the citizens of Florence. The French Revolution walks on the legs of the ideas of the Diderot and d'Alembert's Encyclopédie and of the Voltaire's Dictionnaire Philosophique. Benito Mussolini uses the radio to communicate with the people who gather together in all the squares of Italy. The movies of Leni Riefenstahl give a great popularity to Adolf Hitler. The first live transmission of the sessions of the House of Commons in the United Kingdom is broadcast by BBC Radio in 1975. At the beginning of the 21st century, the fate of the world is still determined by Masonic, religious and financial groups. 130 of the most influential personalities of the world, the Bilderberg Group, have a private meeting every year to discuss the future of the world economy. Before the net, communication, knowledge and organization belong to the power. With the net, they belong to all the people. 1998, Move On, a political site, launches a campaign in favor of Bill Clinton with the million emails sent to the Congress of the US. 1999, in Seattle, thousands of activists protest against WTO thanks to the internet. 2002, a coup d'etat in Venezuela fails. Chavez is back as president because of the information diffused on the internet and via SMS. 2004, Howard Dean, an unknown governor of Vermont, becomes a pretender to the White House. He creates a worldwide network of supporters with the internet platform Meetup and communicates with millions of persons through his blog, blogforamerica.com. In many states like China, Iran, Malaysia and Singapore, the net is under control. 2007, in Italy, V-Day is the biggest political event that has ever been brought together by using the internet. It's coordinated through the blog of the famous Italian comedian Beppe Grillo. Two million people pour out onto the streets to demonstrate in favor of a clean up in parliament. 2008, Obama wins the primary elections against Hillary Clinton. He collects more funds than any other candidate directly from the citizens using the net. Obama wins the U.S. presidential elections. At the Web 2.0 summit in San Francisco, Al Gore declares that the problems of the world, like the global warming, can be solved only by the cooperative intelligence of the people on the Internet. 2018. The world is divided into two main areas. The West, with direct democracy and free access to Internet. China, Russia and the Middle East, with Orwellian dictatorship and controlled access to the Internet. 2020. Beginning of the Third World War the last 20 years. Destruction of the symbols of the West. St. Peter's Square, Notre Dame de Reims, Sagrada Familia, 
use of bacteriological weapons, acceleration of climate change and rising of the seas of 12 meters, starvation, end of the fossil fuel era, reduction of the world population to 1 billion people. 2040, the West wins, net democracies triumph. 2043, grassroots movements emerge all over the world to manage local problems related to energy, food, environment, health. The planet is split into thousands of communities linked by the net. 2047, everyone has his identity in a world social network created by Google called Earthlink. To be, you must be in Earthlink, or be not. No passport is required anymore. 2050. Brain Trust, a collective social intelligence, allows people to solve complex problems in a matter of days, sharing any kind of information and data online. 2051. A world referendum is held on the net to abolish the death penalty. 2054. First world elections on the net. The world government called Gaia is elected. Secret organizations are banned. Every human can become president and control the actions of the government through the net. In Gaia, parties, politics, ideologies, religions disappear. Man is the only owner of his destiny. Collective knowledge is the new politics.